This video is sponsored by Rise of Kingdoms. More on that later. Thought to have had its roots in Italy in the 16th century, the game of bingo has taken many different shapes throughout its history. Strangely, that history has led to the very moment of you sitting here watching this ridiculous video. In a culmination of sorts of several different challenges we've already done, today we're bringing the game of bingo to Skyrim with multiple different twists attached to it like randomized doors, random NPC inventories, random trader catalogs, a random player start, and of course, an entire spreadsheet of in-game objectives ranging from easy stuff like crafting a sword or a helmet to more difficult objectives like sex having, or shield bashing an NPC to death. To up the ante a little bit, we'll also have a 90 second outdoor death timer that is active at all times, and even visible in game. This means that we'll have limited access to the outdoors while trying to clear off our board of objectives. If we die, either by our own misfortune or inability to find shelter within the time limit, we'll have to start from scratch and generate a new card of objectives. I, alongside some help from my Twitch chat, put together a total of around 110 different goals that will be randomly selected on each attempt. It took some troubleshooting and quite a few beta iterations, but I think after some hard work we've landed on a new game mode in which our goal is to stack as many bingos as we can that we'll call Skyrim Randomizer Bingo, or something like that. That's clickable, right? Before that, a message from today's video sponsor, Rise of Kingdoms. Rise of Kingdoms is an epic cross-platform strategy game that takes players on an immersive journey through various historical eras. In Rise of Kingdoms, you can choose from 14 historical civilizations that have truly existed, including the newest one, Greece. Famous generals and unique military units from different civilizations will obey your every command as you build your own legends on the battlefield. The Greece civilization, featuring exclusive commanders and special units, Argaraspides, will add a new level of excitement to the game. To celebrate Greece joining the battlefield, the Civilization Clash event will be held, allowing players to compete for their own civilizations. There are tons of other exciting features for you to find in Rise of Kingdoms, including seamless world maps, customizable architecture, and so on. Download Rise of Kingdoms now by clicking the first link in the description and pinned comment or scanning the QR code on your screen now. Participate in the new event by clicking the second link in the description with a chance to win prizes including Apple Vision Pro, PS5, and Switch OLED. Within the first three days, new players can redeem the promo code GREASE4ROK for 20 20 silver keys in game. Once again, thank you to Rise of Kingdoms for sponsoring today's video. Given that the world randomizer takes about 20 minutes to do its thing, I prepared multiple characters and saves to speed things up in the event of my untimely death. Thanks to AI outsourcing, I was able to come up with sweet in-universe names like Emma, Chloe, Jack, Henry? Oh, these won't do. Give me a sec here. One, hold on. Sir Whiskers McFurball, there we go, that's more of my style. We got some characters on deck, so let's see what kind of board we rolled. We have to obtain 10,000 total bounty, obtain a follower, punch a Yarl. Love that we got punch a Yarl, finally. Also, yes, if you click on it, yeah, try not to click on it on your own, you'll mark stuff off. Stop clicking on it, stop clicking on it, okay? I'm, I, I, okay, so we have to, we have to, you hit the edge of the map. You cannot go that way. Stop clicking on. Okay, two. Well, there's there's one entrance up here. I don't know if I checked this one. Let's try it. Um. Okay, that is not an actual door. Not an actual door. But could you imagine if I already died? Like if I ran out of time here and lost the entire run? I'm not afraid to at least engage in some shenanigans. Okay, never mind. I am afraid to engage in shenanigans. Oh God, I I I, I don't have any. Um. Okay. Oh, uh, this is fine. This is okay. Christ, we're only two minutes in. <laughs> I'm gonna lose to skeletons? Okay, I'm going back home. We're going back to our home base. Reset, reevaluate. All right, I remember checking this place yesterday. I don't remember exactly what's in here. Oh, that's right. This place is an entire dump. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. It's not a disaster. We got a bow. Salt pile. We can cook some stuff up. More? Oh, God, I, I cannot describe how much I love salt piles. No, we don't have putting a bucket on anyone's head. Oh, but we do need plates because we have to wall glitch at some point. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get over, get over. Now I'm getting stressed out. 48 seconds. We got time. Discovered a Nightingale Inn, Nightgate Inn. Oh, wait, hold on. Please be indoors. Okay, we got a dungeon. I'm certainly not ready to go through a dungeon backwards, though. Or maybe we should just... Should we just go for it? We have to just make sure to go really, really slowly and check our map. But why why not go for objectives on the board? I think Redwater Den might be doable. Okay. 
Uh, well, uh... So this is Grunk. Everybody say hi to Grunk. Be nice to Grunk. Fingers crossed this first one doesn't kill us. Seems like a decent start, but let's try and stealth our way through this. We have to get through one, maybe two dungeons, and then we'll probably be better set to actually go after our objectives. Although I think in this one we have pacifist a dungeon. So get through a dungeon without killing anybody. They're already about to find me. Maybe there's another door in here, another teleport. Careful, heel toe. If I can get out of here with some clothes, I will claim that as victory. Ooh, there's the guard. There. Oh, how does she already see me? There's the XP I'm looking for. All right, slowly back away, Grunk. How are they already finding me this quickly? Now there is that, ooh, that ship is probably the closest door for us to go into, but I don't know if it's worth the risk, especially since we're on survival, we're naked and we'd be swimming through ice cold water. Why do I always have to start in the snow? If we get to the boat and the teleport leads us outdoors, we might be screwed. So it's a big risk if we go for the boat. All these barrels are empty. A flute, drum, <gasps> we're two thirds of the way there to an objective. We're gonna hit this cave, it's the closest. This is also a risk. <sighs> Hold your breath. I gotta get a weapon. Although there is a rewards chest over there. I wonder if that's a friendly NPC. Could this be a quest? Are they friendly? Excuse me. Hello, I am a weary traveler. Huh? No. Vampire Thrall, taking lots of damage, one down. Master Vampire, gotta go. Our next move might be the tower. Oh gosh, our next move might have to be the boat. Because if this tower doesn't have a door and we run all the way over there, the run's dead. And I'm already on to my third character and I only have four of these saves that we can use. So the torch should keep us warmer a bit longer. We're gonna leave, we're gonna turn left, we're gonna go straight, we're gonna haul ass to the tower and pray that it takes us somewhere like Riften or Whiterun or just take us to a hub town. Oh, that's gonna be littered with enemies on the outside. Don't tell me it's Thalmor. Are you nice? What? Halt. Wait, they're nice. I'm going for it. Ah, yes, they're nice. Take advantage of their kindness. I don't like, no, no. And it had to take us and put us into a cave that's even cold. It's Falmer. It's Falmer. We're screwed. It's over. It's over. The run is dead. Any icons on the radar? There's a boat right there. Oh, it's the boat to the vampire castle. That makes sense because Volokar is right off the edge here. Does that boat count as a door? They do a lot of damage. Lost half of my health after one little burst of flames. This is looking really bad. <laughs> this is not looking good. I think I just have to leave this base and hopefully we get lucky. Why can I not sprint? I'm sneaking, why am I sneaking? There's a cave right in front of us. I can't get up that mountain though, we gotta go west. There are no icons, I'm going for the boat. This asshole with the flames doesn't get the fuck away from me. NPCs can't swim. I'm going for the water. Oh, bad idea. I'm freezing to death. Come on, come on, come on. 45 seconds. We can get to this boat. Please work. Please work. We got 32 seconds. Ice water jetty. Can I travel. Okay. We're traveling. We're at the edge of the castle. Can we open up the door? 25 seconds. No door in there. We got to get all the way to the gate. <gasps> No, don't let me run out of time. We can do this, I swear. I promise, we can do this. 20 seconds. Come on, 18, 17. Run! Run, Grunk! <laughs> Go, Grunk! The people believe in you. Do it for the believers. 10, 9 seconds. Get out of my way. Yes! Booyah! And we're indoors. Grunk survives. Grunk has survived. And I have zero items on the board marked. All right, so getting started under this rule set is a bit of a dice roll. That first door you spawn outside of and the potential teleports you have nearby are crucial. And even though, yes, I have nothing off the board right now, I could tell early on that this challenge was gonna give me exactly what I wanted. The kind of challenge that makes you freeze for a sec. Think about your next move. Not only how can you stay alive longer and keep the run going, but while doing so, can you position yourself to knock an item or two off the board? Even small victories like saving the run through my stupid escape plan are satisfying even if they contribute nothing to my overall goal, though they can be a bit short-lived sometimes. <gasps> what the f- Okay, I guess we're going this way now. Run's dead. Run's dead. Run's not dead. Nope, run's dead. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't hit me, don't hit me. No arrows, no arrows, no lightning. That's it, run's dead. Fuck off, run out of magic. Don't hit me with the arrow, please. Go! Oh. 
But when it all works out, when it all comes together, and you're not just surviving the gauntlet, but also having little eureka moments of, ooh, we can get this one, it makes for something great. Butt naked, timer is back on. Run number three, commence. We actually have a pretty lucky spawn here since we're in white run hold. Burn, burn, burn. Why aren't you burning more than that? Burn harder. It's white run hold, plenty of places around. Should be fairly easy. Why are there no doors nearby? Okay, we're gonna reset our timer and then try to run up that hill, get to that cabin. Seems like our best bet. Please don't be standing right at the door, Bandit Chief. Please. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh my God, we really can't go back in there. It's cabin or bust. This is the run. This is gonna be the door that sets us off on our quest. Oh, uh, we made it to a safe place. Unfortunately, there's a kid here who's probably gonna be really annoying, but we are in a safe little hotel. Naked, 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 naked. See, I told you he'd be annoying. <laughs> Come on, I just got here. Understand my struggle. You're out, no drunks. No drunk. Oh, this place sucks. I already wanna leave. I'm going back to the bandit cave. One skill book down, right? Isn't that? Yes, okay, we, we have to read three skill books. Everybody keep track. We've got one skill book out of three. Oh, finally. It's glorified pajamas, but I have some clothes. I've got quite a lot of wares to offer you, madam. Uh, I have this roll of paper. This sucks, I spent all of my money. I only have four money left. Fire arrows, gold, hunting bow, armor, 56 arrows. Tell me this is a skill book. Boom, Corundamingit. I think we only need one Corundamingit to make our backpack. Take everything that this clown has, run back to the inn. Now we've got a little bit of a start. I'm not gonna make it. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Go, 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 25 seconds. Okay, we got time. We're gonna make it back. Whew. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Red Ryan's retreat, no bandit on the outside. Please be something good. Indoors, broken down ship. Are you gonna try and kill me? Good afternoon. I like these guys. Come on, skill book. Gotta be a skill book in here. We only need one more. You should take more care, Lee. Did he give me that boat? No, I don't want it. I dropped it for a reason. Oh, I thought he gave it back to me. He did give it back to me. I don't want it. <laughs> it's taking a little bit longer to get up here than I thought. Don't have time to fight them. Dragon skin. Just in case we get hit by magic here. Indoors. We are getting really, really lucky. No, 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 no. You didn't see that. You... Leave me alone. I am leaving. I'm leaving you completely alone. If anything, you're the one who's being an agitator here. Leave she... Me alone. Oh, <laughs> she wants to fight? I'm not going to fight you, kid. Can we get to the front gate of Whiterun in 80 seconds? Don't tell me this is how the run ends. We have that little secret backdoor entrance that goes right to the front gate. That might be our fastest way. Oh, I don't have enough time. I don't have enough time to do this. It's going to be a little bit faster, I think, if we take that backdoor entrance, right? Now I'm scared. Did I take the wrong route? Did I take the wrong route? Come on, 26. No, 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 no. Did I take the wrong route? I took the wrong route. I took the wrong route. It only works as an exit from the city, not as an entrance to it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, it's right here. I went the wrong way. I'm gonna get caught in the conversation though. I have to just try and tap the door before he talks to me. 10. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Don't initiate. Get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. Four, three, two. One. Holy shit. One lockpick on an apprentice lock to save the run with one second left. And if we open this door on the other end, if we are outside, we lose. If we are inside, we win. I'm not sure what the percentage chance is of me surviving. I'm really nervous. I don't want to start over. Not there. Not there. Not there. Not there, come on. Is it 12 o'clock? No? Oh no, oh, I'm actually gonna lose. Oh <gasps> no. There we go, got a little touch. Come on. <gasps> I'm alive. I am 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 alive. I don't have anything off the board yet, but that feels like such a monumental victory. I need a second. I need a second here. Whew. A shrine? 
Offering up 100 gold. Do I have 100 gold to cure my di mm, We do. Disease cured. Mud crabs are dying while uh, using very harsh language, please. Stop swearing on my stream. This is a family friendly channel where we don't use words like f Damn it, <laughs> It's even better in slow motion. Oh, duh. Somebody earlier said to get arrested. That's 100% what we got to do. I order the yard. Stop right there. All right, we made it to White Run. Lucky. With one second free, we made it to White Run. Now we have unlimited access, as many doors as we want. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for joining me today. We have completed our first bingo board objective of the whole entire stream. We've come so far, we battled through so much adversity. It makes me so happy to drag this X. Right here. Okay, never mind. It is behind. Okay, now I'm I don't know how to do this. How do I put this above? Uh there's gotta be a way. <laughs> there's gotta be. Uh now I wanna see, can we get a skill book? Sovereign Guard re-examination 36. I'm taking it. It might be a skill book, you never know. Stupid book. Worthless information. Oh, I've been here. You remember this quest? We came here with Scritch. I don't care about anything. Ah! God damn it, Scritch! We've talked about this! We got a bed. We got a bed. We got a place to sleep. Get a couple of wings, take our level up. Could I have made a backpack there? Since when? <laughs> Wait, since when do I have a corundum ingot? I just completely missed it. <laughs> Why does this kid always... This is the second time we've seen him without his clothes. But, okay. <laughs> no, no, no. There it is. Skill book number three. Congratulations, chat. Oh no, I did not mean to steal it. That was an accident. Wait, oh, Yorland, I was joking. I was joking. It was a simple prank. Veda, you gotta protect me. There's a psycho old man trying to steal his book back from me. Take it, <laughs> get it away from me. Ooh, salmon steak. Don't mind if I do. Toss her over into the corner. Mmm. Mmm. Nothing like floor food. Two down. Bring the leather to Adrian. Nah, I'm good. I'm gonna make myself a backpack. Appreciate all the help, Adrian. Everything that we've done so far in Whiterun has been pretty decent. There's a few dungeons nearby, but I don't think too many of them are doable. I guess we could try to get out of Whiterun. Uh-oh. Every time I see one of these assholes on the loading screen, I start to freak out. No, it's a direct door to solitude. I don't think I can take it back. But we were running low on doors there and not making a lot more progress. I think this is a good change. Is that a friendly ghost? Or is that an evil ghost? Friendly? Oh, <gasps> wait a minute, wait a minute. If I, if I take the dragon claw, is the door gonna close behind me and lock me in here? Can I do like an Indiana Jones thing and replace it with something? I don't want the door to close. I have to go for it though. As soon as we put the Dragon Claw in our inventory, that is an item off the board. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, problem solved. Should we try and pickpocket an enchanted ring? I think now is the time we go for it. I think this is a really good time to go for it. We're in, we're in solitude. It's a wealthy town. There's a lot of NPCs right now walking around. I think we have a really good opportunity. I, I, I think it's a good opportunity. No, no ring. No. It's, it's completely legal to open up a stranger's pockets and look inside. But you, I can see you having a fancy little ring. Silver ring, not enchanted. Amulet of Stendar. Oh, we're getting closer. One of you has to have a ring on you. There it is. Six pro. <laughs> okay, maybe if I'm hidden. 31% chance. I have never begged for anything more than this working right now. I know it's not gonna work. You fucked around, Erin Scar, and you protected your ring, but I'm coming for what? Why do I have a. Imperial. I haven't got anything to say. Ma'am, I am offended. Don't even think about it. I'm not <laughs> think about what? We're stuck in here together. We just became roommates and you're gonna immediately start firing shots. 
Have you ever had a roommate before? I stand with the Stormcloaks. You Imperial dogs will never break my will. I'm in jail with you. We are in this together. I'm sleeping off our lease and I'm getting away from you. I'm not interested. Turn around. Come on, 31% chance for the believers. Boom. Now we're moving. Made it to Riften. Brain blast. Brain blast. Oh, brain fucking blast. Okay, we're gonna take that door. We're gonna loop around to the front of Riften. We're gonna hit the uh, carriage. We're gonna buy a horse at the stable right there in Riften. We buy a horse. That gives us, that gives us bottom middle of the end timer. Thank you. <laughs> Good call, chat. Whew. I can't. Just stoke the fire. This one's a favorite a of mine. No, no, don't do that. Not the double door. Okay, there's food in here, but no, 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 no. We need that back door entrance to Riften. We have to find a way back. We had it. We had the answer key. Castle Dower Dungeon. Oh, this is the back door to the Solitude Prison. Can we get back to Solitude? I'm breaking into prison this time. <laughs> Never done this. You have committed crimes against Skyrim. I submit. Take me to jail, officer. They knew there was a massive hole in the wall, but they still threw me back in jail. I love solitude. This place is awesome. Now we're moving. Where you at? 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 Where is? Where is the guy? Okay, we got 70 seconds to catch a fish. I, I can't see the timer though, so in my head, uh, three, uh, four, five, sixty. Duh! 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 <laughs> Reeled it in. Okay, we're at fifty-eight, seven, six. If this is how I die, I'm gonna. E E. I'm pressing it. Good. No, that's not a fish. We need one. Adept. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, we're just gonna try this door. You have committed crime. Can I get through? I'm not gonna get one hit, am I? Oh, I might be. Oh, there's a lot. At least in solitude, they don't try to rip my head off for fishing. Please be chill. Don't kill me. We're here to teach you a lesson. No, you're not. <laughs> no, I'm not the... Why does it always have to be hired thugs? Damn, I didn't know Juve was a coward. Okay, when I'm a coward, it's tactical. It's tactical cowardice. All it requires is a little bit of patience and you can get away with anything. Please help me. I'm going to lose my job at the Rifton Fisher. <laughs> I don't care about her losing her job. I'm worried about getting my bingo. Got it. Fish acquired. Six items down. Dawnstar jail. I guess I could go to jail in Dawnstar. Wait, hold on. You guys are right. You guys are fucking geniuses. I didn't even have the brain blast. You guys had the brain blast this time. We're in a jail. This is a jail. There is one guard in this jail. Listen to me, bitch. You're the only guard in this entire jail, okay? Do you fucking understand me? You are the only thing standing between me and being like halfway to completing a bingo. What does she have on her? Iron sword, not too much in there. Hunting bow, iron bolt. I think I can win this fight. I cannot win this fight. I cannot win this fight. Okay, we need to throw in a shield. I should have an extra one. Let's not, you know, get too confident. Easy. I don't think I can get up there. I am unbelievable. Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I'm stuck. Hold on. I thought I did something cool. Oh! Down the trapdoor. The Shrine of Mehrun's Dagon. No way. Burn! Oh, he got all his health back. Go eat you a dead. Oh my god, wait, hold on. Are they gonna drop the hearts? If they drop the hearts, we're gonna get it. We have to win this fight. Oh, it feels so good. It feels so good to win. I didn't think they would. I almost avoided that fight too. Imperial boots, shield, armor, helmet, bracers. <laughs> the 
it's so tiny. Oh my god, the fact that it switches to normal camera for that. Eighteen seconds, seventeen, sixteen, jump. We gotta get around. Fourteen, thirteen. Oh my god, the run might actually be dead. The run might be dead. Go! Gotta hit this jump. Jump, 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 get over the ledge. Four, three, two, no sprint. One. Yeah! Yes, we got it! Redwater Skuma. Boom! Buy Skuma from a Khajiit trader off the board. Done. Well, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Where do you want to go? <sighs> Climb and back and we'll be off. You've got the deal. <laughs> I'm surprised as much as you might be right now. If you've followed me for a while, I don't do a lot of winning on this channel, and I usually like to embrace failure. My work didn't feel done, however. While the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay was a ton of fun and clearing the board was extremely satisfying, I thought some of the objectives were pretty lackluster, so the ones I did complete we threw out to avoid repeats and jumped right back in with a fresh character to see what other ridiculous situations we might be able to get into, hopefully get out of. <laughs> oh no, the bunny's gonna get murdered! Run! Okay, I'm gonna start the timer because we gotta go. Is this not an indoor? Oh, it is. Okay, we locked out. I don't have a lockpick. It is a locked door. <laughs> I don't have a lockpick. Okay, we have a minute. This was the worst spawn we could have gotten. Okay, so there's another cabin right here. Let's just try this other cabin. I'm taking the horse. I'm taking the horse. I need the speed boost. <laughs> Come on, Jerezy, you got 50 seconds. Let's move. Hi ho, Silver! Mush, towards that cave. There's gonna be a bear here. Yeah, there's a bear here. There's a bear here. Oh my god, go get in the cave! Where's the entrance? Right here. Am I able to go in with- I cannot go with my horse. Okay, later horse. We're alive, we're in. The run continues, and now I am falling into the void. What a horrible start. I think Jeriza's going through it right now. We're alive. The run is not dead. So let's see, what first cave did we get? More Kazgir Cellar. How much Kazgir? More. Subscribe for more hilarious content like that. Looks clear, gonna go. Not even gonna think about it, we're just gonna run. What, the bear? Why is the bear in the road now? <laughs> Stop! Hold on, wait, we can still kill this bear. If we utilize the civilians in town, we could be able to get an early victory and get it off the board. Ooh, that thing, oh, he's hauling ass, go. I'm jumping. Ah! I'm jumping. I'm jumping. I'm getting in the water. Forty bounty. Fort really. I'm defending your town. Now they're shooting at me. Now they're shooting at me. Everyone hates me for helping defend the town. One objective down. We killed that bear. I'm taking credit for it. If everyone in town wants to try and kill me, then we gotta move. Hello, good sir. How are you? Good to see you. <gasps> oh. Okay, let's not do the two-handed stuff. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Apprentice door. Please be indoors. Whew. Run is not dead. Run is not dead. Back to town here. No! Are you full of energy and excitement is how I'd describe every run in Skyrim Randomizer Bingo. Now I know earlier I said that we'd use a different character each time we died, but I feel like Grunk really didn't get a fair chance. Also I ran out of new characters to use, but thankfully I'm fucking terrible at this, so there's still plenty of objectives for all Grunk to chase down. That ship right in front, across the freezing cold water, we never ended up going there. I think that that is Grunk's best shot at survival because everything else to the left of us was a complete disaster. There is no doors here, <laughs> of course there's no doors here. Stop it. Grunk gets another chance. I'm not abandoning Grunk, unless we can get to this little fort door. Come on, Grunk. I know you're cold, Grunk, but in 12 seconds, you can be the hero of your own story. <gasps> it's right here. Mush, you green bastard, mush. No, 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 not like this. 
No, not like this, Grunk. No. Oh, okay. All right. Inappropriate. There's children. I don't want to hear any complaining out of you all, all right? For starters, Grunk is incredibly sensitive, so lay off. Second, I meant what I said earlier. Getting started with this challenge is actually pretty brutal. But uh, in case you're curious, here's our board of objectives. Nice little door that goes in here. The screen is very red because of my berserk. I don't have a lockpick. I don't have a lockpick. Oh my God, it's right there. The entrance is right here. No, it's right there. We're gonna make it. We're making it to Pine Moon Cave. I'm feeling it now. This, it's the run. Am I gonna have enough time? Did I grunk it? <laughs> Don't tell me I grunked it again. Hold on. We might have something grunkulous going on here. Get over the rock. 12 seconds at the finish line. Can grunk make it to the cave? Nine seconds, eight, seven. Go, you green fuck. We're in, we're in. Grunk is alive. I'm not going to warn you again. Get out, or I'll call the guards. You just got grunked. I think Brandy Mug has been the victim of our crimes, like, at least five times on the channel before. Uh, we gotta make sure to collect those cheese wheels, because we are gonna have to stack eight of them at one time. Cabbage? Wait, does she have a basket in here? She does have a basket in here. Oh, we're getting this one marked off the board early. So how would this work? Do I have to just, like... Oh, this is gonna be impossible. I'm never gonna land. This is gonna be the hardest challenge. Do we tomahawk throw it? Huh. Ooh. Boom, drained it. Where do we have it? Throw a head of cabbage into a basket from three sword lengths away. It seems like chat was generally positive, although that may just be believers spreading propaganda. Steal everything and calculate? Wait. I, I think we can do that. Everything that I currently have on me was hers. So if we steal everything from this house, we can calculate it and we can get credit for it. What is with the feet in this game? I become more enamored with them. Not in like a good way. Every single time. What is this? All right, let's do some math chat. Five plus 12, 17, 32 plus 20, 52, 83, 85, 90. 92, 94, plus five is 84, 184, 189 is 362, plus four, 366, 368, plus 311. Hey, another 311 reference. Uh, I don't know any other 311 songs though. 690, two, four, eight, 398 plus 60 is gonna be, 458, I believe, 458, 468, plus 20, 488, 503. Is my math there? Where did I go from 600 to 400? What, no. Now I'm losing track, now I've already lost the number. What was the number? No, no, separate. No, save some room for the Holy Spirit, you two. Oh God, oh no, they fused together. Stop it. This, this marriage cannot continue. This is sodomy. Stop. That way. Break it up, you two. Oh no, oh no, I murdered the basket. Um, uh, when did I, I drop down to 400? Am I gonna have to count? I'm gonna, all right, I'm, oh, okay. We're counting it all again. We're starting over. Now there's gonna be something I missed. 311 plus 84 plus 60. 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. 741, 741 total value of her wealth. Well, now her wealth is zero because she's dead. We've made some progress already early on. We have maybe one skill increase, but we have two off the board. Now, if you remember chat, we have three directions we can go. We can go forward, we can go to our right, or we can go left. If we go right, we only have one lock pick. I kind of like that drama. Out of lock picks, I thought I had a lock pick. Oh my God, there's a lock pick. It's on the floor of the house. 66. 368. There's a floor. There's a lockpick on the floor of the house. Now I'm gonna have to scour the floor for a fucking lockpick. Okay, I dropped everything right here, so it would have dropped in a circle around me. There it is. No, it's a knife. She, she gets one more <laughs> net worth point. Not a lockpick. Where the hell is the lock? Okay, so now we're at 743 total value. If you've ever wondered what it's like to have a vape addiction, this is what it's like. Where'd it go? Where is it? scouring every inch of the planet looking for that thing. Between bench and table? 
Oh my god, it's another. There's two more knives. 744, 745. How did I miss this much cutlery? Ah, uh, I have found the <laughs> lock pick. Yes, I knew there was one in here. See, that's the fun thing that we do on this channel. We make finding one lock pick an entire adventure. Take some of these blue mountain flower just in case. All right, it's a novice lock. Oh my God, no way. Are you shitting me? <laughs> that did not happen. I can't believe I'm back here in the same house. We're gonna try and go around this bear. We're gonna go wide around the bear. Hopefully we don't aggro the bear. It should give us enough time. I don't think that the inn is too far. It's moving on the little compass pretty significantly whenever I strafe. If, if the door's locked, I'm just gonna launch myself into the nearest high-speed track. There's multiple doors. It's an entire town. It's Dragon's Bridge. I just need one door. One door's gotta be unlocked. I'll, I'll pickpocket. I'll lockpick off somebody if I have to. I'll go to jail. I don't know if there's guards in here or if they'll even take me to jail or if it's kill on site. We got plenty of doors in Dragon's Bridge. 36 seconds to find a place. Let's do it. We're in. We're in. We're in. Run is so back. Officer, you gotta help me. All right. No, not everything is okay. I broke my lock on a novice. One more open door. Oh, beautiful. This is literally the best case scenario we could have gotten. <laughs> it's just another cabin though. Who are you? Metild, do you have a lockpick on you? She has three lockpicks. 61% chance to steal. We could just kill her and take the lockpicks. You're not getting any. Of course, of course I'm not. Ma'am, I'm just a really effective alarm clock. That's all I was hired for. There are larger things at stake here, Betild. I'm dressing up Grunk. What the hell? I mean, I've had run-ins with kettles before, but I've never been assaulted to that degree. Looks like we're in Riften. Golden Glow Estate. We end up at Golden Glow Estate quite often whenever we use the randomizer. There are so many entrances to this place. Oh my God, this place is loaded with cheese wheels. Three. All of a sudden, our stack of eight cheese wheels seems incredibly possible. Cheese man hunting the hallways for your wheels. I don't know if that's, that jingle is gonna be in the final product of Cheese Man, but. He's lactose tolerant. It's Cheese Man, and he's found another cheese wheel. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Cheese Man scours, the Cheese Man looks. When he's not eating cheese, he's out hunting crooks. Whoo! Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. That was a good one. Cheese Man. He's a little bit testy, but he tries his best. He's the Cheese Man. Ah! There's another, there's a full cheese wheel right there. <gasps> Three full entire cheese wheels. We have 10. We have more than enough. One cheese. Whoa, whoa, dude. Watch your, uh, watch your step, you pompous bastard. Hey, hey, I got cheese things going on here, fellas. Change course, change course! <laughs> oh, go, come on! You could have simply walked around it. <sighs> hey, won't get away with that. order of the yard. Stop right there. I hate this game. Grab all the cheese. Go, 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 go! That fireball did a ton of damage. Do I have any po healing potions? Heal, heal, heal! Don't kill me! Go, they have archers and arrows and killing things and serpentine arrow right by my head, whizzing by. Nine! <laughs> I have my cheese, that's okay. I have enough cheese to stack my tower. They're not gonna steal it from me. Way too much stress. I just need a nice, peaceful little place that I can stack my cheese in silence and enjoy my day. I'm going in here. Cheese is placed. Release. No, no, what? You've got to be kidding me. Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to. Cheese number eight. Wait for it. Throw a head of cabbage into a basket from three sword lengths away. Done. Steal every item from someone's house and calculate the value. 740, what was it again, chat? 
No, you are wrong. It was 747. Solitude, back in solitude. Okay, so now we have a direct connection from Markarth to solitude. If we go boop through here, and now we're in Falkreath. What is going on? We have direct access to Markarth, Falkreath, and solitude. We have nearly unlimited doors access. I don't know what to do with all this power. I'm not used to it. Hey, hey, I'm here to get my degree. Or to play a prank. Imstool, Swamp Fungal Pod. Poison of Paralysis. I love you, chat. You see, when we combine forces, when you combine my memory, remembering how we can get back to this exact store, and your ability to Wikipedia search things, we are an unstoppable force. Okay, well now we have to figure out who we want to paralyze. I kind of want to do it in Markarth because there's a lot of steps. Like we could catch somebody and just watch them Lincoln lug their way gunk, 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 down the, uh, down the stairs, you know what I mean? We're calling it Lincoln Logging. We're not changing the name of it. No, not Nazim, that's too predictable. I want this to be a random act of violence and cruelty. That's what gets me going. Get over there, back it up, back it up. There you go, you're almost in position. Keep going, there, oh, perfect. You're going the right way. Sir, I just need you. Nice, nice. We have 50 seconds, plenty of time. No need to rush it, back it up. We did it! <laughs> no, wait, that didn't last long at all. Wait, I needed more than that. Idiots. <laughs> Morons. <laughs> hey, did anybody see anybody with a crossbow come through here? I don't want to be hurt again. It wasn't me. Oh, oh, who did this? Quick, come quickly. Oh no, by the gods, this can't be happening. Don't worry, I'll find out who the crossbow assassin is. Oh, wait, there's a standing, isn't standing stone on here? Or did we get rid of it? It's gonna be out on the middle of the lake and it might be a good idea for us to carry our momentum forward after acquiring the standing stone because we can jump right into the little fort that's across the lake. 72 seconds to go through this water, hit the stone, get across the lake. 50 seconds, just at the halfway point. Thirty seconds to spare. Oh, and it's indoors. If it was outdoors when we got here, might have been some trouble. Okay, too much, too many. There's a horse there. Hold out, hold out. We have to hold out for it. We have to hold out. Horse got a kill. I'm counting it. I'm counting it. Horse got a kill. Put it on the board. I'm counting it. We're putting it on the board. Activate blood spring. You have contracted rattles. You have contracted. Oh, great. Now I'm a, I'm a vampire. <laughs> okay. I just, why did I have to drink the vampire juice? Can I? What happens if I drink more? You have contracted brain rot. <laughs> I already have it, so it's all good. Aside from my severe brain rot self-diagnosis, Skyrim Randomizer Bingo is probably my favorite game mode we've come up with for the channel. It's chaotic, unpredictable, and makes the sandbox of Skyrim clash in some really wild ways. You never know when the game will either hand you a lifeline, booyah, and we're indoors, or crush your soul into a smooth paste. What do you want? I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. I'm just angry. I'm just angry about the lot. <laughs> <laughs>